It's the kind of beat to go I am Joey from World Domination Nation, if you don't know that. Um, I have Kristen and so we have the whole group right here. This is where it all happens. It's actually really cool to see, but a lot of fun. But uh, today we're just going to play a little bit, um, ask some questions, and just have fun. So I don't have my objectives anymore. Because so you're playing on the zombie side. I am, and I have to figure out what I want to do. So I got aftershock, so I'm just kind of rolling with that from here on out. <laughs> I'm gonna get him in here. Let's see. Well, I have all my biohazard. I just started using the harbinger. I used to not be a fan at all of them, just because they'd always blow up my own troops. But I'm figuring them out. These right here, the reanimators. Reanimator or the yeah, effectors, great. my favorite by yeah. far. Yeah. I just like getting giant horde of like drones. Just just really necessary. Yes, <laughs> my absolute favorite part. I like puddlers, sprayers. I used to like, but I'm just kind of drifting Depends. away. If you, if you, if you do have a lot of melee moves, sprayers mm -hmm. can be really good because they'll hit the healers yeah. behind them, which is mm -hmm. and they do a ton of damage. Yeah, so. I mean I'm kind of I'll I'll put them in there sometimes, and then the filer I'm starting to level up. I borrowed a few of those and I started liking it a lot because it was good for the machine gunners because I think it was on Dubai maybe where they had a lot of machine gunners and these like protected turrets. I needed them with my like lower level squad. I'm just going to throw these guys in. There we go. So you, don't, you don't use a like bigger like tanky type guy? I have my Titan. Yes, the Titan's but good, but if they have snipers, man. That's, yeah, it's game over. Yeah, you gotta be really it depends, careful. it depends who I, which, where, where I'm attacking, but. I mean, my zombie, my, so my zombie character is definitely a lower level um, than yours is. Yeah. I'm primarily a human player, but I have mm -hmm. a zombie player who's probably like 18 or 19, and he, in that, I always use a, I have like a Colossus or, uh, yeah. that is super high level, and I just mm -hmm. like put him out front, and he's just, just waddles, waddles <laughs> blocks all the bullets. Yes, okay, so. I haven't done a roam before on the zombies, I don't think. Because I usually play survivors, but I always come on zombies just so I could get aftershock and play around with them. It's a nice break every now and then from the survivors, because survivors, it takes a lot of time for them to recharge. I took one of the QA devices, so I hope it's a good one. Is this on the test build? No, 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 it's not just. This is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I should not take that long. <laughs> Alright, we should throw an error after this. Let's give it a second. My bad for using a QA iPad. <laughs> <laughs> we have a number of different devices that um, that our testers use during the day to, to just try out the game. And they can sometimes be in all sorts of weird versions of iOS or different you know states of the having the app on it. So it can sometimes be a, a bit of a problem for us in this thing that we're doing.
There we go. Much better. There we go. Facing back, guys. How to handle this? Mm hmm. So, what do we got in there? It looks like. That's some fire chiefs. Yeah, what's that gunners. big group in the middle, though? That's yeah. not. That doesn't look fun yeah. at all. Um, the nice yeah, thing is, if you start bears. on the top up here, yeah. you can use your uh, biohazard. You can just knock them out. through the walls. Yeah. Through the buildings. Start that out. Was it just a bunch of gunfighters? Yeah, it looks like gunfighters and some paramedics. I think. Can't really see what type they are. Yeah, Let's see if they that. can knock them out. Uh, there we go. Got a couple of them. Okay, right here. This oh, is that's a machine gunner. Yeah, that's where my Titan's going to come in. My friend. Oh, the, the Titan. Oh, the machine gunners can't do any damage to Titans. Yep, they're just going to. He's just going to sit there and try to do oh, something. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. <laughs> I forgot that the machine gunners simply don't do enough dick. Because the Titans have armor. Yeah. So the way, that, the way that ends up working oh, is so nothing. Sad. You know, if they can't crack armor, they do no damage. It's just nothing. Oh, there's another one, too. Oh, you can sneak up behind that one, though. Let's see where'd they go. Oh wait, are there snipers? Ooh, they oh, took them out my. There are snipers back there. <sighs> That's no fun. Let's start a group over here. There's a harbinger there. Let's see, can... Let's see what we can do. Oh, you're probably gonna get close enough. Uh, the commando. We got yeah, it. There, you there go. we go. Let's see. Okay, the, let's start a group over here. Wait, I need to start using some of my reanimators. Get yeah. some more drones. That so, big group there. Okay, I'm gonna. This should take it out. There we go. That was easy. And then let's see. Let's throw down another reanimator. Oh, I didn't know I borrowed these. I mean, I yeah, know. that's a pretty good borrowed unit. Yes. That There's level a lot. 25 yeah. biohazard. <laughs> 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 I take are that. Really good. Just throw all of them out there. I think that's the last group right there. Just throw down my. What are those things called? The little pothole zombie drones? I never, know, the I never know. Geyser is the what drone it's geyser. Yes. I never know that what to call them. The official name. <laughs> that's what it's, that, the drone I, I geyser. I believe that's what it is in the code. Okay. The well, drone I don't geyser. think that's official. Yeah, I don't think we call it anything anyway. <laughs> um, but yes, those guys are really awesome. Yeah. Uh, we're actually working currently on some features that will make skills even more interesting. So that should be fun. Yeah. So I always wonder what to call that. I'm just like, I just don't oh, even. Man, know. It's a patient zero. God. <laughs> There's so many crazy like zombots wow. is unreal. There's so much stuff to borrow. Yeah, Zombots is pretty solid. Because some of them have like all the legend, like every single troop you can get. It's crazy. <laughs> it's helpful for me, of course. <laughs> okay, let's do the same thing over here. Let's start off. We have a question things. from COC1234567289. <laughs> <laughs> How did Joey get into the room with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I snuck in, came in the back. <laughs> Uh, he, I think he was here visiting with his um, with his family, and so he, he emailed us and wanted to come by, and so we uh, we set aside some time and decided to do a stream. Thought it'd be kind of fun to do a because you you be, you you mostly just do YouTube videos, right? Yes, mostly YouTube. But so we figured you know it'd be kind of cool to do a to do a live stream um, yeah. and and uh, answer some questions and you know. Mm -hmm. Have we haven't really done anything like this before, but like no. YouTube videos and streams are like a huge part of us getting the word out there for the beta, and it's like been a huge part of our community. So this is really cool for us. Yeah. Let's get some more drones here. So we're just pretty much wiping this out. Yeah. The biohazards and patient zeros are they're just pretty much pretty taking solid yeah <laughs> i mean especially on a level like this right where there's like these guys don't mm -hmm. have a ton of line of sight so you just have to get them close exactly all those snipers it's so sad <laughs> they tried and then drone geyser throw this the drone geyser just throw it right there take out oh, okay <laughs> what a waste i don't even i don't even know it it's perfect timing <laughs> Uh, the thing that I like to do is put down like a harbinger or a delivery man, and then have have him run through the stimsy mm -hmm. right when he's about to. Oh, oh wow. and then it just that yeah, does more damage. Yeah. Wow, I've never tried that. Yeah, you, he'll do more damage. Usually, I use the drone geyser and the stimsy, like throw it in like a little, maybe like little bunker areas where they're protected by walls. Just throw that in there, take out all of them. Okay, let's keep going. A little bit different here. 
Oh, hello. Didn't see this over here. You could probably do your similar. Yeah, just stick with the patient zero. Look at that, twenty-five. There's so many. Let's see. Oh, they're gonna do so much damage. That's just gonna. They're just gonna <laughs> wipe out like everybody in this little thing. Well, right all here. these guys can't see, right? So they they're behind these walls, yeah. but they don't have line of sight. Mm -hmm. Don't stand a chance. Oh, there's snipers down at the far end, though. Oh, so annoying. Snipers are just. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually talking um, uh, uh, last week about so the sniper is very early on in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, have you faced a dead shot yet? I hate them; they're yeah. the worst. So, I love dead shots, but so I mostly I play as a survivor. <laughs> so very early in the in the yeah, while well, we were still very early in development of the game um, and doing a lot of the balance stuff, all the snipers had the dead shot ability where they would always oh. <laughs> they would always only attack specials first. Wow! I and they were just so. Overpowered. That would but like been... you would just do. You would just fill your as humans. You would just fill your squad with them. Oh jeez. Um, and so it was a. Uh, I actually think the. Um, is it the sharpshooter? Whatever the upgraded mm -hmm. regular version of the sniper is, yeah. when it hits level fifty, it gets the dead shot ability. And dead oh. shots, dead shots, um, it'll do so much damage because those snipers do like a lot of damage. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want a dead shot so bad because I always run into them and they're just. Oh, they're so they're amazing. It's a good use of the drone geyser right there. Yeah. Just gobble up the uh, machine gunner. Exactly. Just take him out. Don't want to have to worry about him. Just 47 drones. Just drop them all here. Pretty sure the last thing is just the hospital. Yep. Yep. That's about it. A couple of your guild mates say hello. <laughs> Those people from Wind Rammer and COC123567, <laughs> who I guess is Michael. <laughs> <laughs> so they wanted to say hi. All right. Hello. I think they're in my Survivor Guild. I think. What guild are you in for Survivor? Zomba Nation Nation. We're doing pretty good. We're, nice. we're currently doing Dubai, and it's challenging. Because I can only do normal, and I can't do hard, so I'm only getting 30 at a time. It's slow. It's a tedious process. Uh-oh. Everybody's tiring out. <clears throat> oh, got to throw an aftershock. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, aftershock oh, yeah, will be the only one you'll have to use in this one. Oh, you have a cesspool and a behemoth? I have so See, much those stuff. Guys. Look at so, this. I have so much. So cesspools, cesspools. are really awesome. Mm -hmm. So my on my zombie character, I basically I use a behemoth. I actually really like using the assassin. Mm -hmm. And then I use cesspools and like a harbinger, and that's pretty much like my standard loadout. I just put the... Because um, I don't actually have, I, I think I have a Titan, but I don't have the like, I don't have the legendary version, the Dreadnought. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. Uh, so I think it's the, is that the Dread? Is the Dreadnought the legendary version? I can't remember. I think it is. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I don't have one. Of I have a hundred. I'm not upgrading. So people are typing in chat. There's someone in this who's. All right. So you. Oh, in in, in world here. chat yeah, in the they game. Yeah. Said hey stream. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so you guys, so you like the cesspool? All well, this the cesspool. It's just a better version of the puddler. All right, so I'm gonna use him. I'm just gonna see if I can get evolve him because I have so much. St I have a hundred. You have a ton of guys to use. <laughs> Let's just empty this out. I don't like brutes. Well, they were good, but they've brutes had their good time. originally. Yeah, they do a lot of damage compared to the other. Yeah. The other iterations of the kind of like heavier mm -hmm. zombies and stuntmen. There are have their uses. Mm -hmm. In certain situations, they're nice. I'm gonna keep two just in case I ever yeah. wanna. Of all of them. Yeah, and then puddlers, I already have one of those. I don't really need these. I'm not going to use them. Level 8, we're getting up there. Foreman. Ooh, I'm getting up to my... What in the world? Wow. You have I, know. <laughs> I didn't even know I had this many titans. I guess I hadn't checked. <laughs> wow, that's actually shocking. Okay. Let's get... Okay, sprayers can go. Colossuses can go. Level nine, we're getting there. Colossi. Coloss <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get rid of two of them because I don't need how many. I have so many. Three. Okay, and then sprinters. I'll get rid of one of those. There you go. Okay, one more level. Oh, I don't like morticians that much. It takes too long for them to bring up people. Wow. They used to be. <laughs> when we first put them in, they would. Um, they would. Reanimate the Harbinger and the Delivery Man. Oh, that was a, that was a very funny <laughs> for a very long time. 
There we go. There you go. I love now him. he's gonna be really good. Let's throw him in. See how we can do. Let's attack. I'm gonna reset it. Bring in cesspool and the puddler sprayer. And then we'll bring in the defiler. What can we borrow? Look, there's another one. Twenty-two. This is I. I borrowed this one. The defiler from Max. Max football. Well, they're the group right here with the biohazards. They can just, you know, do their thing. Take all those guys out. <coughs> and then let's see. The other nice thing about the, them being all packed in is the puddlers are really good. Mm -hmm. one there. Okay, so let's use this. Okay, they're, I'm not going to worry about that over there. They're just going <laughs> <laughs> to... They're just going to do their job. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to throw down a large group here and then throw in my cesspools that I just upgraded. They're missing a lot. Got a spot over there. Watch out for the snipers back there. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I did not oh, see them. Oh, yeah, all the way Hello. back there in the corner. Okay, let's just... Oh, I think your patient zero is going to... I think he'll... Gonna take oh, it. no. Uh-oh. Oh, you have a healer back there, too. All right, that's not good. Uh, okay, the cesspool just took see, him out. That's the great part about yep. The cesspools do a good job against any of the... Snipers or machine gunners yeah. or those, those types because they don't move at all. Throw down a infector. I'm a new fan of the cesspool. <coughs> I also think that the cesspool just has one of the coolest little 2D pieces of art. The they look the cool. Big pieces of art. Yeah. All right. So what can I see? I'm just gonna drop this over here so they can start taking out the hospital, and then I'm just gonna drop all these guys right here. Yep. <laughs> I remember once I did a video and I only used infectors and reanimators and I literally the entire map was filled with drones. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's so much great. fun. Yeah, that's like my favorite meta game is just seeing how many how big can you get your drone parade. <laughs> oh, the drone parade. <laughs> it's a pretty good drone I mean, parade. It's pretty that's pretty good. It's just hanging out back there. Yes. We've seen some pretty good screenshots. QA has been able to get in some bugged states where it's basically like com the maps are completely full. <laughs> Cleared. Typically, we try to get it so that you'll have a couple hundred just because they're kind of fun to watch. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. Where do we stand in Rome? Not even close. Pretty far. Oh, ten percent. Oh no. Seems That's not good. Batteries. Oh no. <laughs> That's okay. We can do another one of these, and then I can I can actually plug in my computer, and we can. Sounds good. Yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> Make sure that I have a and everyone should remember to subscribe of to course. World Zombination Nation on YouTube. Just hit a hundred. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, thank you. Are you gonna do like a special video? I'm planning on it when I get back in town. Nice. There's no Wi-Fi anywhere. That's good enough. It's awful. <laughs> and hotel Wi-Fi is so expensive. It's unreal. Ugh. 17 bucks for a day. <laughs> Walking on through. Hmm. Major Pike has a question about evolving units. How does that work exactly? Well, you have the level one unit, of course, and you pretty much just level them up with your other units that you've like unlocked or achieved through completing different tasks. And you pretty much consume them and you keep leveling up as you may have seen if you just saw a minute ago. And once you hit level 10, you're gonna have to consume another unit of that same type. So I had to have two cesspools to un like evolve it. So once you get two, you have to consume the second one and then you evolve it and that's what you get. You get an evolved one with the special ability. I didn't even look what the special ability was on this one. I'm not sure what I it think was. the cesspool gets increased range. range. No, maybe it's... Is it the stick it where they're like stuck in it? Yeah, I think actually can't it might move. be... I can't remember what they actually get as their base one, but I mean the, the most important one, especially from 
the early when you when you get the first first level of evolve is the um, the fact that you get another deployment. Mm -hmm. So you can put down three in the case of the cesspool rather than two. Yeah, it's amazing. Especially when you got on survivors and you get another machine gunner. Oh yeah, it's amazing. That's, that's a night and day. <laughs> yeah, it's the best. All right, so we're just. Oh, you have some machine gunner left. It's got Titan. the Titan's, Titan's gonna gobble them up. You're just gonna sit, just take it, <laughs> take it like a champ. Let's see what can I use to just help me out. The sprayer can just maybe help yeah, out just on this. Take out those melee guys. Yeah, and then. There you go. Biohazard took out the machine gunner, and now we're pretty much home free right here. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what's going on in your uh, guild chat. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really looked at that today. Hey, stream. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Very active today. <laughs> Fun stuff. I think some people in your human guild are Maybe we mad can... that you're not helping oh, that's... them do tier two. I know. Buy I right know. Now. <laughs> all my guys are <laughs> all my guys were exhausted. I was doing it on the way here, and they were just I couldn't do anything. I mean, let's see. Maybe I'll pop over really quick. Take a look at the. <laughs> here, let me sneak behind you. All right. Oh. There we go. I think that my get that. Hmm. There oh, there we, we go. go. There it is. All right. So let's see. I think my guy should be. I'm pretty far behind, in fourth place. So here is my setup right here for the survivors. Machine gunner. No, I'm actually saving him for my second group. Actually, you know what? I'll use him. <laughs> There we go. Now we can help out in Dubai, because we need that. <laughs> so we can get Destructor. <laughs> All right, how was I going about this earlier? Oh, so you do a, you're gonna have a biohazard come up top. Mm -hmm. Luckily there's not any on the other two points right here. All right. So you have some machine gunners. The machine gunners I have take four. Out basically everything. Yeah, they're just gonna do whatever they want there. Okay, so let's throw down this group right here. Oh, see, I didn't bring my EMT. I mixed it up and I changed it, so I didn't bring a machine gunner, but I borrowed one instead. Uh, let's see. Let's throw down this guy, and then I need a sniper over here. Take out Behemoth, I think, right there. Yeah. And let's just keep throwing down another group here. This side, they're not gonna have a chance against anything. That should be pretty well locked down. Same thing over here. I like my Lumberjack and Fire Chief set up right there. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> and then Gunslingers, Mercenaries, Sniper. And then I have to worry about this Biohazarder over here. I was I'm just going to yell. That, corner slot. Yeah. that shouldn't be. And then. Let's throw down some snipers, spec ops, and a gunslinger. And then maybe they can help out oh, over see, there. That's nice, because now they're going to be behind the wall. Mm hmm. Perfect. All right, feeling good about this. Let's see how they hold up. Oh, the runners are annoying sometimes. If they get there, they can If they're there, the they're just going to, yeah. That's why you need like a melee guy to soak that up. Exactly. Remember once I just put two machine gunners on a spot hoping they could just hold it down and they like could set up fast enough. Exactly, and the runner just took them both. I'm like, are you? <laughs> it was just because I ran out of all my troops. I was just trying different things so I could continue attacking, get more points for it. Machine gunners are just tearing it up. 
Okay, here we go. So use the flare to keep him back. I'm actually gonna throw this right here. Yeah. Ooh, Molotov. Yeah, there you, there you go. go. Oh wait, oh wow. There you go. There we go, we're good. Well that's pretty much just locked down right there. I don't think they're gonna be able to I think you're fine. <laughs> More than enough. <laughs> yep. There we go. Helping out in Dubai. I only get thirty though. It's annoying. I'm not high enough level to get fifty. You got thirty-two. Cause Cause yeah, I got the perk. bonus. <laughs> what uh? How much help they help promote me and help us? How am I? I have to help. Join me. I'm here with tier two now. Yeah, I'm helping. <laughs> 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 Let's see. I think we could do it. I think it's definitely possible. We need still have another eighteen hours. Yeah, it's plenty of time. Yeah, I yeah, think you're you about halfway. You're yeah. about halfway. Get destructor. I haven't used him before. Oh man, it's <laughs> funny. Aftershock is unreal. Yep, it's about like that. <laughs> Just take it out the entire map by itself. <laughs> there are a lot of, a lot of bio, yeah, this time. tons. <sighs> this is not going to be fun. The best thing to do is to try and take them out on like a straightaway. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm actually gonna see, where's the hospital? Cause I don't want him to like, okay, so I'm gonna put this guy here, move that there, place some people here, need some snipers and get a gunslinger, put another sniper here. And then these guys can do their thing up there and then the machine gunner will have time to get set up. This will be a tougher spot here. Hmm. So I don't want those biohazards to take out my machine gunner. Let's give that a shot. And then I'll replace if needed. Hospital is very close here. This is intense. guys here. Okay. That's pretty good split. That was good. Okay, let's start it. I'm only worried about this spot, this spot right over here. Yeah. But I think I'm pretty but good. The other here. thing you can do is you can put like a couple of snipers back in right the five spot and pull them onto the road. They're my last... I wouldn't use them right now. I yeah. would wait. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw them out there. Just use them. <clears throat> Yeah, so this place, this spot right here is locked down with the machine gunner. Once the machine gunner gets spun up, you're usually in good shape. Yeah. Yeah, that like long straightaway, you just mm -hmm. pick them off as soon as they come out. This side's really bunched up here. So this is, that bottom spot is a good place to use the flare. You can put the flare like back up the road. I would wait until it Yeah, just out. save oh, it. Yeah. But you can just like down Whoa. here in this bottom part, like you can have them walk backwards. So like if you put it down, like where they're like there, right like, there. Yeah. Just have them walk. Oh God. <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna. Everybody's going down. Everybody's going down. You know what? Well, that that group will be able to hold them up. Yeah. Okay. There's gonna be another one coming. That's not good. I might set them up, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start setting up some people over here. And then the snipers can hang back here and just... There you go. And then I'm going to use the Molotov cocktail over here as well. Yeah, use it. Wait until you see some of the, mm -hmm. some of the scary guys. Let's go. Wait a second. The behemoth can go. Oh, and you also have the... You also have your flare back. And the flare is good because oh. it will make it so that you... You don't have a... Um, oh, there you go. You got the... Yeah, I've got the main problem. Zero. Yeah. Okay. These two spots are fine. Yeah. This, I think we're gonna be I think fine. you got it. Yeah. There we go. Speed it up. Just a few drones now. There we go. Cleared. Cool. You wanna switch it out? You want me to plug in? Yeah, let's, uh, let's that switch it out. Right? Yeah, that's so yeah, probably die. not gonna. Okay, let me. And then move out of the way. There you go. Log out here. Yellow. Yeah. There you go. There it is. 
So this, um, so Unity is what we use to um, uh, to do. This is our game engine, mm -hmm. but this is also a way we can go in and test the game with all sorts of stuff. So we have this like special game mode um, that we've created, and unless we put in things like the player's level, which side I want to play, and which mission. So you were just playing in Rome before. Yes. Um, so I can go in and like choose the units that I want to have in, and I can choose like what you know what skills I want. Mm -hmm. um, so I can start this. see here so we, this is this is a this is my current test build of the game so there's a couple of things that are that are different that will be in, in a release coming up shortly one thing is um, stars are gone and now you just do straight victory points for yeah. stuff um, but what this will show you is uh, oh this actually didn't even do Rome this did this created Vancouver, Vancouver. Um, and I think it's because I have some whoops <laughs> um, I think it's because I, I have some other stuff running that probably made the uh, the um, map generator not work on my test build. What I wanted to show you is just like some of the way that the game is actually built mm -hmm. in here. So all of these guys, yes. all of the units are actually like flat, 2D. Uh -huh. And so if we like turn the camera, you can see like, oh, <laughs> they just like face the camera. <laughs> um, so you can see that like the, the buildings and stuff are all actually done in 3D, mm -hmm. um, but the, the units, the reason why we can show like a million drones on the screen is because they're all 2D. Um, and so this is the way they actually get put out in the, uh, in the scene. So like this yeah. is basically like this is what, what's referred to as the scene. You can see that we, we do create all the buildings like all the way out to the edge, mm -hmm. you know, basically where the, where the clouds hit. Mm -hmm. um, and then we sort of stop like right outside of where the, where the clouds come in. Yeah. Um, so you can see that the, the game is built very much to, to function only with a, with a very specific aspect ratio for the camera. <laughs> Otherwise it would look really weird. Yeah. Um, and then, so all of this stuff is all laid out procedurally. So, you know, we, we create all of these custom and then each one of these, uh, like buildings and stuff is all built. Um, like every one of these encounters is like hand built. Mm -hmm. um, you know, similar with like something like this is like one of our designers, um, namely Josh, uh, goes in and actually builds each one of these. And so we have the art and stuff, and he goes in and puts them together to actually do that. Um, so I think I can actually play. I don't know if I can play in this version. Yeah, I have to switch over to the other scene. But this is how we can kind of jump around and test multiple, mm -hmm. um, multiple different maps. I'm just going to see what's going on. There. Restart my servers here. So this, um, uh, so we use this to do a lot of our, um, a lot of our testing that allows us to do things like choosing, you know, whatever units we want or however we want to go about building that. And then, um, if we want to do <coughs> You know, we can just go straight into the game. That's what this lets us do. And you can see, I'll show you some of the ways, like, you know, some some of the way we actually set up some of the other scenes in the game. Mm -hmm. So, oh, that's weird. <laughs> so you can see for something like this, if I pause this, like we actually have a like real, th like actual sphere way down there. See, like, there's the world. <laughs> and so we actually have the two different backgrounds, right? So, like, this kind of shows you some of the some of the way we do this. And then you can see that, like, the UI actually sits off to the side, and we, like, put that on top. So, like, mm -hmm. the user, the actual user interface that you see sits over here. And the world itself has its sort of, we do, like, a lot of the shaders and stuff is just flat things yeah. that look like they're actually there. So game development is all about, you know, it, it's a... Uh, it's a little bit smoke and mirrors with some of this stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, so that's the way these sorts of things are set up. 
So we'll go back to a mission test. We'll see if we can do a. Uh, I wonder if we can do Rome. Nope. Just keep giving us Vancouver. But the uh, the way the mission test game mode actually works is um, allows us to test a whole bunch of different things. So we can, you know, I can give myself like a million aftershocks. <laughs> Which we'll start and then we'll go back in here. But a lot of the code, so when we look at something like this, mm -hmm. um, so if you're curious as to like how you know what are, what are, what does the data look like for you know one of these? So if we wanted to look at you know like a unit, um, there's like the way we actually put in unit data is like this just like breakdown of hey here are all mm -hmm. the stats that go into the units and then that this data actually comes from an Excel spreadsheet that one of our designers Jesse um, kind of owns and takes care of and that's mm -hmm. where you know and this is how we handle like level up so it shows this is this is what happens as you level things up and how things change. Um, so <clears throat> all this stuff is stored separately from where all the art assets sit and then yeah. that stuff gets pulled together and mm -hmm. that's how we actually come up with with what shows up in the game. Um, yeah. And so when we're doing the level design stuff, let's see here, um, we end up going through like a whole big process mm -hmm. of actually m making a new level and it you know we have we have some other tools that let us do this so. If we want to like generate a bunch of maps, so if I want to actually see, oh, you know, let's take a look at what um, what different layouts of some of these maps could look like. So mm -hmm. we'll go to you know you were just in Dubai, right? We'll go to Human Dubai, easy. And what this let us do is we can change some of the parameters around. We can like force certain buildings. We can change the lighting style, mm -hmm. and then this will just build the map and now the map is not in a playable state here but it lets us like see all of the things that are in that map mm -hmm. um, and this is this is like part of the process to actually building the levels themselves yeah so So, you know, this is what Dubai looks like, and then you can see like all of the different encounters and stuff have been placed, mm -hmm. different buildings, and if I did different maps like this, you can just watch it change over and over again into what, what the different types are. And so, like I said, all of these, so this entire map is actually made up of a series of encounters. Mm -hmm. So, take a look at what an encounter looks like, so go to Dubai. Zombie, or zombie Rome, that's where you were before, right? So mm -hmm. if we go to Zombie Rome, you can see like, so those machine gunner squads that you're yeah. actually making, right? Actually, let's, here we go. The like snipers off in their, off in their little like, you know, sniper area. Yeah. So this is what that encounter looks like in mm -hmm. the, when we actually build it the first time. So this so you can see like doesn't look anything like what it'll actually look like in the finished game but what what this allows our like you know designer to do is basically make a whole bunch of lego blocks mm -hmm. and then we feed that list of hey these are and you can see like these are all the different encounter types that go into um rome yeah and these have set things where some of them are forced to be in there all the time some mm -hmm. of them are only in there a few like you know every once in a while and so we change that to really vary it up and so we feed that list into the map generator and the map generator comes back with a map that works that is valid and so we try to make it so that you will never get a map that you are like guaranteed to lose yeah. um, but we but it's really hard to make sure that you actually have a uh, um, have a map that is balanced and that's what we spend <coughs> a lot of our time doing is trying to figure out how that works yeah so. how do you guys like go about designing all the new maps like say you want to add a new country or something to the world in a future update like how do you go about like the strategy of like in the puzzle of each map how do you like make that so a lot of that so we start by kind of taking a look at what we try to for every map we try to teach like we try to introduce one new encounter type mm -hmm. um and one new unit mm -hmm. that like really uses that encounter in an interesting way yeah um 
So I just want to see if this actually works. And so that's, um, uh, we have this big spreadsheet that sort of lays all that out and kind of walks through like, this is what we want the, um, the progress, like the, the overall progress of the player to look like. And these are the cool, interesting things we want to teach uh, yeah. in the new locations. And so what we end up doing is we try to slot some in that, uh, that can fit for that specific um, uh, region. Mm -hmm. And and then from there, we try to make sure that it, you know, then there's a lot of balancing and things that go with that. And we yeah. try to make it so that each map feels unique, mm -hmm. but has like, you know, but has a lot of elements so you can understand like, oh, I've dealt with snipers before, I know how to use them, but we try to like mix and match the types. And then for, like when we look at raids, um, like the, the raids and the events, um, mm -hmm. we actually try to do more, um, uh, we try to do more mixing and matching so that you actually, so that they're more challenging. So we try yes. to make those a lot more challenging than like the, the solo player um, mm -hmm. uh, cities. Yes. So usually what we do is we kind of take a look at, you know, what, um, first of all, we have to pick which city which is always a challenge because there's a lot of different cities. Yeah. Um, and then we uh, and then we go from there to really trying to figure out like what would, you know, what makes for cool encounters. And we're mm -hmm. still learning a lot of that stuff. So this um, this sort of we call this a horseshoe. Yes. Uh, so this encounter um, was something that we actually weren't doing for a long time. We used to just have these like corner encounters that were just kind of limited to being two by two. If you look at these, the, like the way this grid's laid out. Mm -hmm. And the problem was that just wasn't nearly as cool as like the full-on horseshoe encounter, especially if you're a human player. Mm -hmm. And so um, we go back, you know, and do iteration passes on the maps over and over again to just be like, oh, like what's working? Like what do we think is really fun? Recently, um, we've been really liking the Rio maps for humans. I don't know if you've played in Rio, but like the Rio maps are pretty cool. Uh, and so, whoops, this is a zombie. Um, and so we've been kind of going back and taking a look, like what you know, what makes these maps so interesting and fun, and then mm -hmm. how can we how can we add that into either new cities that we're adding or go back and change up some other cities that we're not as happy with. So mm -hmm. like sometimes we do go back in and change the cities pretty frequently right now. Obviously, while we're still in the beta period of being like, hey, this map is just not that fun. Like this city is just not that fun. Yeah. Um, oh, and really, the, yeah, the thing yeah. that makes Rio cool is like the, this mm -hmm. sort of center cage. Yeah. Um, and so we, we, you know, noticed that this was really cool. And we're like, hey, like, what if we make a whole bunch of different versions of this where sometimes they have, you know, all walls that can be destroyed. Sometimes mm -hmm. they don't. Like, what, you know, sometimes they have walls that are, you can't see through. Like, what do we, what do we do about that and kind of make it more interesting? And then challenging you with different types of units, right? Like, the, obviously, in a situation like this, there's a lot of walls. Yes. So, you know, the stuntmen are a really good, interesting piece to have here. Mm -hmm. So that's generally where we start. Um, and then it's of course like as soon as you change one one map in the uh, in the kind of flow, got to go back and make sure that it makes sense with all the other ones because you want to um, you don't want to make like one map be really easy and then have a really hard one then have a really easy one right yeah. afterwards. So we go back and like make sure that it's all tested and working. Mm -hmm. Any any chatter on there? Anyone want to see anything? There's uh, plenty of chatter, but it's uh, mostly just. About playing the game, which okay. is awesome. Well, um, do you want to like play some of the uh, yeah. some new stuff? What should we play? Hmm. Tokyo just ended. Tokyo was kind of fun. Should I? Uh, let's see. Dead shots are pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Gotta have a dead shot. Buzz saw is kind of amazing. Oh yeah. I like timber beasts. Just got one of those. Yeah, they're they're uh, mm -hmm. their personal favorite. So uh, Windrammer says that he just got an epic pack, or a couple, and got a buzzsaw, sawbones, desperado, and a sports doctor. Oh, desperados! I love those. <laughs> I'm gonna put some desperados in here. We're gonna do two desperados, and then let's see. Guess I should. Well, machine gun. I already have a. You have the buzzsaw. Buzzsaw. I want another. Do sharpshooter here. God, what level is Tokyo? I don't even know. Give myself level 12 units and see how we do there. I 
I would say we could go fight Aftershock over and over again <laughs> with, uh, with <laughs> level one delivery men. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I could, we could bring in, uh, um, Bring in Destructor, Destructor and just, just yeah. win over and over again just to make everybody happy because I know a lot of people get frustrated with how to deal with uh, how to deal with him. All right, so God, this map is not easy. That's really tough. Um, Titan. Titans too. All right, so luckily the buzzsaw does enough damage that it should be able to get through. Mm-hmm. You also got the dead shots that could be put a buzzsaw here. And a buzzsaw here. Oh, I also have the outlaws, which would be able yeah, to do enough damage too. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. We'll do some outlaws. Put these guys up though. Put these guys back, make a nice little nice little grouping. Oh yeah, come on. There we go. Now we have a good uh, good spot to drop this Timsey. have a decent range. And then I have a surgeon. I have a surgeon to uh, get anyone that dies. So we'll see how that does. Some of it will depend on the direction that the um, yeah, these guys going this way is going to be a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, how can they not? Oh, they can see. Okay. So we have a question. What's going to happen to Aftershock after the update? Ooh, uh, Aftershock, um, so Aftershock will become a new legendary unit that we'll eventually put in later on. Um, and I think what we'll end up doing, oh, these guys are really confused. I think what we'll end up doing is, because we'll have um, uh, Dr. Zombowitz or whatever, whatever we finally end up naming him, I'm not sure what we're gonna name him. Um, he will be uh, he will be in um, for basically like the hero unit for the zombies, um, and so aftershock will get switched out for that, um, and then we'll figure out what to do with aftershock later on. I think we're gonna have to. to be anything blocking them so what this is showing is like this is the the blue is the sort of walkable space yeah. um, the the like red and the, the white here these are all collision objects so if these guys just think they can't go this way for whatever reason this wall being here probably what are those like lines that you could see in the um, blue area not there but like back these ones yeah. so there's some like path uh, so these are just like different sections of the um, like different pieces that are getting dropped in and then these are each one of these is like that's the actual collision object for the um, for the unit itself and what I can do is I can actually I believe I can turn on uh, we can look at like where they're trying to go so this scent map here um, if I pause this should yeah so I can have this run but we can look at the scent map itself so the set map is like what the AI uses to actually figure out where it's going. Mm -hmm. So you can see like these blue things show where we can walk and then these arrows are showing where they're trying to go. So these guys like don't have a scent. 
they don't like know where they should be going. Yeah. Um, oh wait, they do. They have this. They're trying to go through here, and they realize that they like can't. I don't know if this is. Is this a non-destructible wall? No, it Thanks. is. You can break it. Yeah. Not really sure what's going on here, but they should be able to shoot over it. So I can probably do this and bring these guys back. Turn this back on. Molotov. No, they're going. Oh, they're coming this way. Yeah. I'll move some guys here. I really like the victory points. It's way better. It's way better than the stars. Wow, this outlaw is still holding on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Because right. you're desperado. Let's see. Can we get these any closer? No. I don't know if I can. So I can't get them to actually shoot over that wall. These guys are just like doing the cha cha. Here we go. Just Molotov. <laughs> just Molotov the wall. Oh, there they go. And let's see what I have left. So I can let's drop the sniper. Oh, let's see if she'll resurrect any in time. Oh, I already won. Um, um, you have another question. Mm -hmm. Windrammer247 is curious how the changes to upgrade is going to work. Yeah, so uh, the way upgrades are going to change is basically we're going to make it uh, so that you um, need to... Uh, the level of your units um, is going to be the kind of key thing that is blocking your ability to actually go to, um, uh, to different cities. So instead of it being player level, it's now going to be unit level, which just makes a little bit more sense. And then we're um, we're going to remove the need to consume units. Um, now things are just going to take the second um, currency for both sides, so DNA or supplies. DNA are the crates for humans. Um, and you can still consume your units, your units that you don't want anymore, and get that second currency back. Um, and then you will be upgrading them, uh, and you can make them... Uh, and that will be the way you sort of you, you make them better uh, the same way it works right now the the other big difference is you're going to it'll take some time rather than it being consuming your other units so now it will take a little bit of time to actually do and that will be in the next release um, so we're, we're very excited to have that out because we think it'll be really cool um, People are also wondering when, roughly, is yeah. this update going to be <laughs> the most popular Yeah, question. everybody wants to know that. I wish I knew. Um, like, unfortunately, this, uh, this sort of process is hard. Um, we're, we want to make sure it's awesome before it's out. So we're, we're taking all the time that we, that we need to make sure that it's really good. So we're, um, for anyone that tunes in uh, to do a shameless plug for this uh, the stream on Friday, um, you will likely see uh, see us with a prototype version of a lot of the stuff up and running. Um, so that you know, so you should definitely tune in and check that out because we will have some uh, some of that stuff and we'll be able to answer some more questions related to that. Um, but I, I would think that we're at least a week or two away from from finishing it, which means we're probably you know two or three weeks out from it being released. So. When we, when we know more, I will let you guys know because we really want to get into the game too. I mean, you can see some of the awesome changes like the stars going away and doing straight victory points is just so cool. way better. Um, yeah. uh, victory points now also, you can get um, points for using more skill. So, for example, I'll show you when we get to the next wave here. Um, you actually can get more victory points as a human if you send the waves early. So if I like go ahead and send that early you can see I got additional victory points um, and so you know if you're better at the game then you will you will actually get more victory points where right now there isn't much of a difference on the leaderboards there'll be much more of a difference um, after this release and this is something that we had some feedback in the past from folks on on really wanting to see more differentiation there because three stars just wasn't enough because everyone can basically um, if they're at the right level can three star a map right now and so we wanted to have different variations for people with different levels of oh here you go. 
here's a crash. This is why you shouldn't actually test on your on your development build. Um, and so that's that's some of the stuff that we think will be really really cool. Along with we're we're drastically changing up the way the um, <clears throat> kind of home screen and UI work, so you won't be default to the world map anymore. You'll actually have um, a different view, which will be your like team set of units right now. At least that's what it looks like it'll be. We're still working, we're still kind of developing and working on that UI, but then um, that should be really cool. And, and uh, we've, we've been playing with it for the past few days and it seems to be really awesome. So, you know, when it's together, we will, we will let you guys know so you can check it out. Is the leaderboard kind of like that for the players and guilds gonna be added in the next update too? I'm sure a lot of the higher level players want to see where they stand. Oh, like an overall yeah, leaderboard? Like, yeah. That is a good question. Like in-game leaderboard? Um, possibly. Uh, we're, it'll depend on, we got to figure out a way to work, place to actually stick that. Um, uh, we're trying to find out the right spot for that to go, but that's something that I can't even... So we've talked about where to put the guild one. Doing an all players one would be really cool. Yeah. Um, this thing's not lit. Uh, Kristen, we should just make a make a bug for that. This is the oh, yeah. this is the like pearl the the pearl tower in Tokyo. Is that what it's called? I think it's the Tokyo Tower. Tokyo Tower, that's what it is. Um, and <clears throat> it needs lighting. Yep. <laughs> All right, I will make a note to make a bug. Welcome to what a day in the life of a game developer is like. <laughs> <laughs> You play the game and you see what's broken and you try to fix it. Um, this is not a good layout. I have like no good straightaways for machine gunners here. I hate when I take, a because I have four machine gunners. So sometimes I'll just take them all. And then if I get a map where it's like not good for machine gunners, kinda, I'm screwed. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm in trouble here. This is going to be bad. <laughs> Got a lot of titans too. Yeah. Luckily, the buzzsaws can do enough damage. Yeah. I'm just gonna like protect him really well. Yeah, get him to back way up. So, I'm Frozen <coughs> Army wants to know: Will you be able to speed up the upgrade timer? Yep. Yeah, you will. Um, we're also uh, right now we're looking into some way. Basically, like you'll uh, the upgrade timers are relatively short um, right now. They're not like you know days long or anything like that. At least for for the first you know thirty levels or something like that. Um, and because units, um, it's definitely going to be worth it. Your units are getting much more powerful now when they level up, and we're we're getting ready to build some additional features on top of that because we found that people really like to really like the evolve mechanic, and so we're looking for ways to try to expand that some as well, which I think will be really cool. Um, all right. Windrammer247 says, when the update comes out, are the troop levels going to reset? Troop levels? Oh, the actual units, unit levels? Yeah. No, if you've leveled a unit um, uh, at this point, you will keep that <coughs> unit's level. So, good on you for doing it ahead of time. You will, <laughs> yep, getting in early. You'll be very happy about that. <coughs> yeah, that's part of the process, unfortunately, like with a lot of the beta is, is you know, you, um, you get the advantage. Unfortunately, you have to deal with the fact that we we end up doing a lot of um, development live, but you also are, since you're seeing stuff early, have the ability to actually take advantage of that and um, and uh, get some stuff uh, faster than other people would have. So I'm trying to see if I can. Get I've also the most suggested possible. to a few people who were really into the quest line that if they ever wanted to try the other side, then the time to do it would be after the update because it'll be totally different. Yes, it will be. The, the quest line's changing. Um, uh, not too much from what it is right now, but we're actually introducing the skills along with the quest line uh, in a different way than we have in the past, which will be really cool. Um, try to bring these guys out faster. Um, but yeah, that that's definitely a good time. A good time to do it is is um, with the next with the next release is to try the other side um, and just see see what you think. We're also working on some ways to actually make it so that you can play both sides with a single account. It's something that we get asked all the time, and we would love to have in. So, so you can see, like this is the way the the new end screen works, and um, 
can roll up your victory points. All the victory points basically have increased, um, so that you so we have a lot more like flexibility. I think the total number of victory points I was probably allowed in here was probably a bit more than this, and I didn't get them all. So <coughs> perfecting a map is now you have to be very good and use a lot of skills. All right, we've got one more question. Okay. Are you, uh, I Am Frozen Army asks, are you going to add progression past level 50? Yes, uh, we will absolutely be doing that. Um, I don't know the time frame for that. We're, we're looking into, once we sort of uh, finalize the current kind of like single player campaign, um, once we feel really good about that, we'll probably be looking for ways to add in a like, you know, a, a medium and a hard version of that so you actually can do the campaign. Um, a couple of different times with some different rewards and and some different challenges with that. We've talked about a couple of different ways of doing it, but we don't know what it will be yet, but we will almost certainly, the, the cap will go up um, uh, at some point to be higher than it is right now, at least for players. Um, for actual units, we'll see about when that will actually change. Um, in the in the newest version with the like next release, um, we will have you'll have like a lot more flexibility in terms of like which units you upgrade uh, so we probably that probably won't be as much of a pinch of getting to like a level 50 unit there aren't that many people that have actually done it in the game yet um, but people getting to level 50 uh, uh, is certainly something that we've we've seen and so we will be expanding that at some point awesome well we've been streaming for an hour so I think that's pretty good yeah, cool <laughs> thanks for coming by Joey. yeah yeah thank, thank you very much for coming for by and, and playing I'm going to switch it over. Bye, everybody. Bye. We'll see you. Uh, tune in tomorrow for uh, the Let's Play with Josh. And you yes. can ask him all sorts of questions about the way maps are built and things like that because he's the one that actually does it. Bye, Adrian.